two of the four Americans kidnapped by gunmen on Friday when they drove into Mexico were found dead and the two survivors, one male, one female, have returned to the United States. The freed Americans were transported back across the border to U.S. authorities. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price. The two survivors uh, have since been repatriated back to the United States. We are in the process of working to repatriate the remains uh, of the two Americans who were killed in this incident. The kidnappings, believed to be shown here in screen grabs from video posted to social media, have put a harsh spotlight on U.S. concerns over gang violence in Mexico, with Tamaulipas being one of the most violent states. The four Americans were in a white minivan when they entered the border city of Matamoros, which now has a heavy presence of police and soldiers. Gunmen fired on the passengers shortly after they crossed into Mexico and then herded them into another vehicle before fleeing the scene, according to the U.S. Embassy in Mexico. U.S. media have reported that one of the Americans was traveling to Mexico to get cosmetic surgery. Authorities said a Mexican bystander was killed when the four were abducted, and a 24-year-old has been detained. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador expressed his condolences and pledged to bring the perpetrators to justice. But he also lashed out at what he cast as tabloid coverage of the incident and accused the media of not giving the same attention to killings of Mexicans in the United States. At the White House Tuesday, spokesperson Karine Jean-Pierre said U.S. officials were in touch with the families of the victims. Attacks on U.S. citizens are unacceptable, no matter where or under what circumstance, circumstances they happen. We will continue to work closely with the Mexican government to ensure justice is done in this case. Authorities are still investigating how the two Americans died, and one Mexican official said the most likely explanation for the group's abduction was that they were mistaken for someone else.